Hi everyone, welcome to victoriapacking.com and today we are going to make those beautiful falling from the bone uh, spare ribs. You can use side ribs for this recipe or spare ribs or back ribs and they are going to be amazing. So stay tuned to watch how to make those. Let's make homemade barbecue sauce or I call it this way. So take tomato basil pasta sauce, this is half of the jar, add it here. Then take about a cup or a little bit more of water and wash all the rest of the juices here, like so. Add cinnamon. Add ground allspice, very Christmassy flavor. Add ginger. Add about half a teaspoon of garam masala, a little bit, very spicy and beautiful. And chipotle chili. It brings a lot of smokiness to the party. Add uh, Worcester sauce. I love my Worcester sauce. It brings a lot of flavor to the party. And about third cup of red wine. Mix all together very well. Ah, yes, I forgot. Salt. Organic no salt seasoning. And mix all together. Yes, and just a tiny bit of white or black pepper goes in as well. Take your ribs and those ribs are clean or um, otherwise you have here silver silver um, skin. I have a little bit here but I really don't mind. Trust me, it will be dissolved after so many hours of cooking Cover it with the sauce. And make sure that everything covered. If not, add a little bit more water. Just to cover it all. Add a little bit more water. And that's it. On, plug it on high and cook it for about eight hours or until it's absolutely falling apart out of the bone and it should be very nice and very very succulent yes and I forgot to add sugar this is palm sugar you can add any sugar you like like um, dark mascarvado sugar, coconut sugar, by the way this is coconut sugar as well it will be very nice, pungent and very 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 sweet as you see the bones are falling out of the meat and it's absolutely succulent and amazing the problem is that this, those are spare ribs from organic pork and it's less fatty than than the regular pork. If you use regular pork and use spare ribs and not back ribs, it will take about eight hours. If you use back ribs, they have less connective tissues and less fat, so they tend to dry uh, faster. So those should be cooked for about six hours. So now let's do the taste test. And it's amazing. The smell is fabulous. Let's dip it. And mm, so, so, so 
good. I hope you enjoyed the idea and don't forget to subscribe, like me, comment, thumbs up me and cheers, Victoria. And please share my videos with all your friends and family. Love you all. See you next time. Bye.